everybody. This is Taff coming in with another Taff's Word on football. Um, obviously, I say this every time I do one of these blogs. Predominantly, my blogs are about um, Newport County and the goings on at my club. But I do like to touch out on topical issues surrounding the world of football because I absolutely adore the game. And um, I have a lot of opinions and I like to share them. Um, don't often get knocked for my opinions. A lot of people tend to agree with me or at least enjoy watching these. So I'll keep putting these opinions out. And this is something that has um, annoyed me now. Uh, it's been the appointment of Phil Neville as the England ladies t uh, team manager. Which I think is a good move for them. Even though I, I grew up with Liverpool, so I grew up not particularly liking Phil Neville much. So usually it's, it's not the case I'd usually have his back on. But in this case, I simply have to. Um, I think it's, uh, it's it's becoming hysterical. It's petty. And I think it's just completely uncalled for. I feel like uh, a lot of these anti-discriminatory discriminatory groups have got nothing better to do with their lives than the need to make themselves feel important. As much as their existence creates something great, in my opinion, because if there is cases, actual cases of discrimination in football, I'm glad that they're there and waiting to take the necessary action or give the necessary guidance to whichever governing body needs it. In this case, Phil Neville has made a joke. Now, as, as much as you'll say wife beating is something you shouldn't joke about, but if you were to watch an adult comedian these days, people are actually paid money. People pay to go and watch these people say these things and make these jokes. They, you know, with some of them, the jokes have no boundary. They joke about paedophiles. They joke about cancer. They joke about child disability. You know, they, they joke about rape. Uh, there's no end to to what these people will joke about. And personally, I'm, I'm an advocate of you either find it, it's either all acceptable or nothing's acceptable because somewhere down the line, if you're an adult comedian, you're going to make a joke that's going to offend somebody. Because as an adult comedian, you've got to criticise and ridicule. So you're always aiming it at a particular type of person, group or whatever. It's, these things are always going to be aimed at someone and they're always going to offend someone. Obviously, the darker the jokes, the more people are going to be offended. But at the end of the day, where do you draw the line? You know, who decides where the line is? Certainly not these anti-discriminatory groups, and certainly not people like Philip Neville or anyone else who's ever been done for making a joke. He made a joke about his wife with his wife. You know, he didn't make a public statement. He made a joke about his wife with his wife and also with his sister. And pretty much everybody who knows him, I'd listen to this on the radio a lot, and people like Jim White were talking about him, and know that he's a good person who wouldn't support domestic violence. He has made a joke. He's intended it completely as a joke, and people are taking it far too much out of context. And to the point where a big career move for him could be completely hindered because... People with this PC way of thinking of today have been completely triggered by it, by something he said seven years ago. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's like, on I'm a Celebrity, Jack Maynard got taken out of the jungle for things he said as a teenager. And he's a fully grown man now and, and a popular YouTuber. But then Phil Neville is a popular football figure. He is uh, a good coach. He has got the job on merit, completely on merit. And he will do a good job. I'm certain he'll do a good job. As much as I've never been a fan of his, you've got to give people credit where it's due. And I think hounding him now is just another ploy from you know social justice warriors and people in, in people with sad pathetic lives to scapegoat yet another poor person. And it it happens all over the world all the time. But I'm not gonna get into the politics of it. This is this blog is predominantly about Philip Neville and the unfair treatment of him. I mean, he deleted his Twitter account and people think, oh, that's convenient. No. He was always going to delete his Twitter account because at the end of the day, when you're taking on a high-profile job, is it really worth um, putting yourself out there knowing that you could say something harmless, but people, you know, 
conniving, vindictive people have got a knack for twisting things. You could say something completely harmless and people will find a way to destroy you with it because there are people out there who are just spiteful. Spiteful people. And that's the, the only people that are hounding him now are these spiteful people. At the end of the day, like I say, I'll go back to it. He made a joke seven years ago. Why is nothing made of it then? It's only now that he's taking on that job. And I'll tell you something, right? Mark Sampson, I know, is a completely different case, but I get the feeling, because it was a lot of feminist groups that attacked him for his history and his past and what happened with um, that Aluko a, a girl. Um, he was witch-hunted out. And I think it is obviously got something to do with them having an issue with a male taking over a female uh, team. Now, personally, I don't see why it can't work both ways. I, I, I wouldn't rule out a female coach at a man's football team. So why why is it such a problem of a male coach at a women's football team? And there was a caller that came on and asked, why isn't a female being considered? How do you know a female wasn't considered? But because Philip Neville threw his name in the hat, he was the most qualified for it. People say, oh, he haven't got any sort of um, experience with the lead, with, with the women's game. We don't even know if he's watched a match. Football is football. You know, football is football, whether you're in, you know, the game differs in the man's game. You know, different cultures play in different ways. You know, Italian football is different to Spanish. Spanish football is different to English. English football is different to German. German is different to French. And then you can name every single country and the type of football that they play differs an awful lot. Now, between the sexes, is going to differ. But at the end of the day, football is football. And anything he needs to adapt to, he'll adapt to. So scraping the barrel with this sort of stuff isn't going to work. Um, I think the poor bloke is being hounded now purely down to uh, identity politics and social justice. And that's all it comes down to the completely messed up PC world that we live in. And that's it. Purely, that is it. I hope that the governing, but the FA, have got the balls to stand up and stand by their man now. Because they've just employed him. I want them to stand up and make a public statement and say, whatever's happened with Phil has happened in the past. It's not going to affect what we think of him as the manager of our ladies team. He will remain the manager and that's the last we're going to speak of it. And then doesn't matter what anyone says, then Phil Neville will continue to do his job. As much as he's going to be under the radar, under the microscope, I mean, on the radar, under the microscope, and the moment he does something wrong, it's all going to, you know, the cat's out of the bag again. But I hope he, he proves them all wrong by being hugely successful and goes on to have a good career with them and turns the ladies' team and takes them forward, turns them into a force. And um, good luck to him, good luck to the England ladies. And... That's all I've got to say in the matter. So thanks for watching. For those of you who don't agree with me, that's fine. Those who do, great. But any opinion that you got on this, feel free to leave something in the comments down below. And um, as long as i got the time, I'll come back and I will uh, try and respond to you all. So thanks again. Until the next time, cheerio for now. Thank you.